Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Cecilia Payne Gaposchkin and her contributions to astronomy. So let's get started. And here we have Cecilia uh, Payne Gaposchkin. She lived from 1900 to 1979 and was born in England. She attended Cambridge, but because at that time she could not receive a degree because she was female. So she did finally in 1925 receive her doctorate from Radcliffe College and did a lot of work on especially stellar atmospheres and compositions. And the topic of her dissertation was determining the composition of the sun and what she found that the sun was made mostly of hydrogen. Now that may not seem like a big deal to us today, but back in 1925, we thought the sun was made up of the same stuff that Earth was made up of. So this was a big change in our thinking, and it was actually considered that there must be something wrong with the calculations, that this must be some kind of spurious result. It was in conflict with the scientific consensus of the time, that everything in, everything in space would be made up of the same kind of things that we see here on Earth. Now what she found when she studied this is that the ratios of certain types of elements, the other elements, ignoring hydrogen and helium, were comparable to what we see on Earth. But she found that there was a lot more helium and even more hydrogen, meaning that the sun was really made up of those. Now she did this by studying the spectrum of the sun. When we split the light into its component colors, we can see various different lines and specific lines are associated with different elements. And we can catalog those and look at the strengths of the lines. And by studying the quantum mechanical transition probabilities, we can then learn how likely these are. Now it turns out the strengths of the lines depend in part on how much of the element is there, but even more they depend on the right temperature, that there is, are specific temperatures that will actually excite the atoms and cause them to give off these lines more prominently. So for something like our sun, our sun is really too cool to have strong hydrogen lines. And the only reason it does have them is that hydrogen is the most common element there. About 90% of the atoms in the sun are hydrogen. So it really depends on those temperatures. When you hit that key temperature for a specific element, then its lines become very prominent. Now, she also became later the very first woman to chair a department at Harvard. So she became a professor at Harvard after a lot of work getting through that because, again, women were not back in the 1930s, 40s, were not allowed to be a professor, professor at Harvard. You could not have a woman professor. So she finally became in the 1960s the first woman to chair any department at Harvard. And in 1976, a few years before she died, she also became the first woman to receive the Henry Norris Russell Lecture by the American Astronomical Society. So let's go ahead and finish up a little here with our summary. And what we've looked at there, we talked about Cecilia Payne Gaposchkin, and she was born in England in 1900. We talked about her PhD thesis at Radcliffe College, which showed that the sun's composition was mostly hydrogen and helium, and very different there than the composition of Earth. And we also mentioned that she became the first woman to head a department at Harvard University in the 1960s. So that concludes this discussion of Cecilia Payne Gaposchkin. We'll be back again next week to discuss another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.